Now entering Nerdist.com. Jackie Cation, Laurie Kilmartin. Jackie Cation, Laurie Kilmartin. It's the Jackie and Laurie Show. The Jackie and Laurie Show. It's the Jackie and Laurie Show. The Jackie and Laurie Show. Oh my God. Here we are. Is it happening? Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah, God. We started. <laughs> I missed the iPhone's I missed the down, pointing. Miss I, It's down. It's down. I was, uh, Andrew Thompson was going to email me some Tilda Swinton, Margaret Cho interaction. Oh, yeah. I read that. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't read it. I assume Margaret well, I, was wrong. I skimmed it. That's what it, I assume. Because <laughs> I'm a what? dick. <laughs> it's, uh, first of all, the fucking first rule of comedy is you always side with the comic. <laughs> okay. That's the first rule. You and know, the second rule is go back to the first rule. <laughs> What about if Tilda Swinton started doing stand-up? Yo, then you go with longevity. Margaret wins. <laughs> Margaret all the wins time. just because of stage <laughs> okay. time. All yes. right, yeah. Fair enough. I just ran into her about a week ago, and uh, she's very funny. She had a great sense of comedy great. store. Yeah, yes. And uh, but I guess uh, I guess the the interaction was lucid, and then Mar- afterward, Margaret Cho made fun of uh, Tilda Swinton for even contacting her. Does that sound about right? Maybe. Yeah, Do I, I have so. to read it? No, 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 I think I covered it. I think I got it. You don't, <laughs> you don't have to read it. And I, I say let's do an argument with, without enough facts. And uh, let's it's go one of all my in. favorites. It's one, it's one of my favorite uh, I think Til- Tilda contacted her uh, right. out of the blue. Right, because of Doctor Strange and, and said, the Asian hi, nice factor. to meet you. I yeah. understand you're <laughs> and, Asian. And I need you to speak for all <laughs> Asians right now. Right. Or at um, least give me, because th- it's... Margaret does pipe up for the Asian community on a regular basis. Yeah, so. she is an activist. That's true. It's She's true. an activist, so Tilda Swinton going to her isn't completely out of line. Right. Yeah. It's not. No. Yeah. And uh, and quite honestly, as someone who has read a f- not a lot of Doctor Strange, but a yeah. fair enough, fair enough amount, I understand why they did the casting. It was essentially a lateral move on the part of the white men that run the world. So it's, it's a... W- was it a white? It was an, an Asian male. It was an Asian male part that okay. Tilda Swinton is playing. Okay, there's two main Asian males in men in the um, in the Doctor Strange universe. Uh, it's the ancient one that Tilda Swinton plays, and a guy named Wong, who is essentially in the comic books a Pink Panther like mm-hmm. sidekick, and just ugh, you're just like it's cringeworthy in the comics. So they brought it up. And they did a great job in in the movie. To fix that guy's character and make him a person, which is nice mm-hmm. when people get to be people. And then they gave it to Tilda Swinton because there were there was only one other woman in the whole movie, and it was uh, Doctor Strange's girlfriend. This is how little we have to talk about today. <laughs> I let that go on and on. I'm like, don't stop her. <laughs> right, we, right, because I haven't done any sets on Sunday. Have you? I've done, I've done a couple. Oh, it, have we, you? we did two hours on Sunday. I, I left here without blood. I drained so much out of my body, <laughs> and uh, it's Wednesday now. I like I've had it's, it's not just that many new uh, experiences. <laughs> experiences. We did go see a, uh, a, a very weird play. It was a great play. We saw a play together. Excellent. I'm glad you thought it was great. The Beauty Queen of Lene. You didn't like it? Um, no. I thought parts of it were great. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get it, and I thought it was a little contrived in the fact that I was, uh, like, thank God you were there to tell me what it all fucking meant. And then, uh, was it Brent Weinbach? No, it was um, uh, Kirshen, Matt Kirshen. Yes. He said, oh, read the Wikipedia. I did it at the, at the, at the intermission. And I was like... <laughs> I'm not supposed to have to read the wik. Well, he only reads the Wikipedia for the first half of the thing he just saw, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, to make oh sure that God, you understood it, it is brilliant." Yeah. and I was just like, "I don't think that's how art's supposed to work." <laughs> but uh, okay. Well, how many times do you see? Uh, would you see the same play by Shakespeare? You know the whole thing. You're looking it's at true. the execution as well. Yep. Um, so had you seen it before? I or? hadn't seen it. I didn't know anything about it. Okay. I just heard and you it. still got it. I'm like Irish NPR. Right. Two things I love. I'm on board. <laughs> and then, um, but you've seen his other stuff, though. No, I've never seen anything this guy did. Oh, oh the what's the one you just told me to see? Lieutenant of Anishmore. Yeah. yeah. Well, I would love to if it ever but comes the movie. here. What was oh, the in Bruges? In Bruges. Oh, I've ne- I haven't seen in Bruges in either. In Bruges, two thousand eight movie with Colin Farrell. Uh, and that didn't Ray make Fines. me just see it in the last two seconds. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to essentially Chris, who runs our Twitter account. The fourth person who I give a shit about. Let me tell you something about the write up on this last episode that just dropped. Okay. I am not the hero. We of have this to go back to yeah. the 
play, but oh, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, I'm not go. the hero of the write up. I'm not the hero of the in case you missed it write up by our Twitter by the guy who runs the Jackie and Lori Twitter. Oh, I, I don't read it. Oh well. <laughs> The, good for you. I, 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 I didn't want to treat it like YouTube comments. These are people that like us. <laughs> as, as soon as I leave, I mentally burn this place down and go on to, to my the next ground. thing in my life. Excellent. And it resurrects every time I come back. Um, you're well, Laurie Kilmartin, by the way. Oh, yes, and you're Jackie Cation. There we are. And then, so in this play, uh, I didn't know it was a mother daughter play. Oh, my uh, God. This, that this is thing fascinating. Pinged it me was... on a thousand levels. Right, right. It was like you were being held under a microscope. <laughs> every Andy and I uh, kept looking at each other going, how is she a middle aged Irish woman lives with her mother <laughs> and gets no sex. Now, there's no child involved, but right, that's but, the only but difference. The, but the backbiting and the baiting and the snark. Yes. Just the constant snark. And if people get a chance to see on CISO, 45 jokes about my dead dad. <laughs> the trailer came out today. I know. I saw that. I reposted. I reposted. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it looks yeah, great. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's so cool. Okay. It's just exciting to have things, something come to fruition finally. Right. 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 right, and to anything, be out there. Anything you do, you yeah, just anything. want it done and out there. Um, so, but, but then at the end... <laughs> Um, Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, the play's been out 12 years right, or 20 right. years or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, almost as long as that Colin Farrell movie that you thought if I saw. Gonna, right, if you're going to... 2008. If, right. Um, okay, so she, we think for a second that she beat her mother to death with a poker... I right? wanted her to beat her mother to death. I want to be my own mother to death. <laughs> you think I didn't want that for her too? Right. I am. You give and I, you give. I, I, it's so I understood her dream, and then it turned out to be a hallucination. But was it all a hallucination? I like, think. When it was, did it become a hallucination? That's from, what I hated about it. Parts of it were hilarious. By the from, way, uh, I, I say from the time she burned her mother's hand on the stove on, it was a hallucination. By the time she got f- actually physically violent with her mother, and she abusive. was. Because fantasizing before that, about it. she talks about how because her mom keeps talking about how bad her hand is, right? And then she says, "This is what happened with the with the oil." Her and mother says, "You scalded me," and she could tell the mother was just. I I thought that the mother was just lying. lying. Yeah, and so, but that p- got planted in her head, like, "Oh, I'd fucking love to scald you. I'd love to pour uh, French fry grease all over your head." Yes, hand. and so and so that's when the fantasy kicked in. That's what I. Think. So you don't think that the guy wrote the letter? I do. Or I do think he wrote the letter. I think all that happened. And then after. But then he marries the American? After, or Dolores after or she. This must be fascinating to people. <laughs> you guys, get out there. Read a play. She, after. No, <laughs> we have. We, our podcast requires you to read a play <laughs> before you can. <laughs> Before you can enjoy it, and we'd like a paper on our desks Tuesday afternoon Any, at twelve hundred words. I don't. Let's not talk about this anymore. Okay, but you really liked it. I did like it. There you go. And I liked parts of it, and then I was driven mad. But thank you for so, going. Yeah, you and Andy it was you guys fascinating. Sat, sat separately from me, <laughs> right? And I wanted because uh, we had to buy t- separate tickets. Yeah, and then, but I wanted. Uh, I like the idea of going to see theater. I do too. Why don't I do that every Sunday? Why don't I go to a matinee? They're matinees. They're matinees, and that's where. And they're never crowded. Never crowded. We could have moved up. We probably could have sat next to you. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. We could have just moved and been right there. And I could have said, I could have leaned forward and said, "What the fuck is happening?" (laughs) And (laughs) anyway, so that's what. So that's what we did Sunday when we left here. And then did you go do a set that night? Uh, I did. I did sets. I, I, last night I did a set at an art gallery in Eagle Rock. Nice. John Rowell has a has a room. How was it? It's a. It was fun. Oh, it was good. very brightly lit, you know. And oh, his they... mo- his mother made uh, tamales. Mm. So there, <laughs> everyone There's it, nothing like, like Christmas part in of Los the price Angeles. It's... Of admission was a tamale and some water. Oh, it was pretty awesome. cool. Yeah, uh, it was yeah. A good. It was. Fun. I went to a Christmas party where there was tamales and deviled eggs, and I'm like, "Welcome to after church in Los Angeles," <laughs> because there's always a. Do you a, go to church? No, but okay. uh, but it, it felt like an after church kind of party because <laughs> there were tamales and deviled eggs. Yeah. The tamales are, and you don't eat, you're not supposed to eat the husk of a tamale, right? No, well, you can't eat the, I mean, unless you are Well, I tried, I Did tried, you? yeah. Do you not know what a tamale is? I know what it is, I don't think I've eaten them before. So they're wrapped in, in a corn husk. Well, part of the reason I didn't eat them is I thought they were hard to chew. <laughs> but <laughs> but this time I'm like, let me take the husk off. There you like, go. Amazing. Turns out it's cornmeal with meat in it or vegetables in it. Really delicious. And uh, they're, they're, they're wonderful food. Yeah. All right. Maybe that will replace the... No, I will not even bring it up. Anyway, so... Um, 
I don't know what you were not going to bring up. Well, I'll write it down and then. Um... Oh no. <laughs> But it's not a male comic we're, sna- we're right. slamming. A, I'm thinking of naming it. Uh, I'm thinking of, oh, I'm thinking of naming my uh, apple. Your apple of choice. Get the that. red All delicious. Right. I there have we to go. find something to talk about. Please do. Uh, I have a set tonight. I'm doing Marcella's. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, I'm doing a UCB sunset. Fun. And uh, starts at seven. And I got a weird cryptic text from her. She's like, "Do you need to get up early or late and whatever the fuck?" <laughs> that was the entire text message. That's and her I... saying dash Marcella is whatever the fuck. <laughs> right. And I said, well, let's fucking end it. Get me up early. Yeah, yeah. always. Because it's it's going to be Christmas. This will go up after Christmas, of course. After the new year, I think, right? Oh, wow. All right. Um, so I start. Uh, so this morning, all right, this might, this is the first day off of work. Oh, right. Since we have like 19 days off, which is the oh longest. Oh, my God. Congratulations. In a long time. Yeah. And um, we had to do a little bit of writing from home, but nothing, nothing horrific. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, but I had five things scheduled. I had a mammogram, then I had Bullseye with Jesse Thorne, then this, then uh, an interview on Sirius, which is next. You're going and then, next? Yes, and then I'm going to do a show where I get drunk and argue. That's right. Against to... gun control okay. <laughs> while I'm inebriated. All right. And I'm like, for me, that's five activities in a day. Right, and none and of them is writing your book. Uh, or none of them are just <laughs> curling up in a ball, which is really what I want to do seven hours a day. Right, right for the next 19 days, I bet. Yeah, yeah. and so, um, so I'm like, well, let me cancel the least important one, the mammogram. And- <laughs> Right, I'll, right. The medical I'll, I'll check thing. for lumps another time. Another I'm sure day. I'm fine. Um, so now, so I did Jesse's show this morning. How which was is that? Really good. It's very intense. They're they're in a very tiny. Where you're, you're in a very tiny studio. Mm-hmm. Um, is he and, there or is it? Oh, he's remote. there. He's okay. right across from you. You know. And so we talked about you know the special and stuff. And he played little clips. He watched oh, it good. the night before. It's really nice when people like watch Do the homework. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's really cool. Um, and then, uh, so now, so now because I can't drive home drunk, um, Oh, you had to take a lift here. I had to take a lift here and now I'm going to, then I'm going to take one to Sirius and then right. I'm going to take one to Santa Monica and then, oh, and then a lift back from Santa Monica and then a lift back. Oof. It's, it's, uh, I'm not used to, <laughs> I don't know why these little changes in my schedule <laughs> I find so jarring and alarming and mm-hmm. I get very, uh, stressed out about it. Right. But I think you'll become, uh, psyched about not having to drive to all of those places where you just sit No, there. you know why? Cause the fucking lift, they automatically paired me with somebody and it took too long and I had to cancel and order a premium because oh, right. I needed just to get here. Right, why, right. So why? lift pool or yeah, the, I never do the pool. Well, I wasn't given an option. It was just oh. signed me up for that. Oh, weird. Yeah. All right. Did you, uh, speaking of apps, did I was you just get that say, VLC thing? I did. Uh, and then, and then, video, uh, video lovers cunts. I did. Video I lovers downloaded cunts, it. Uh, app that Kyle told us to get last time. And, uh, and um, it's great. Well, I when I I have to save it to drop. But I have to sa- when I tape a set, I have to save it to Dropbox and then download it from Dropbox to. You shouldn't have to. It's uh, it's well, literally. You don't have to shame me. I'm going to shame you right now. <laughs> Physically, I'm you're, just gonna, here. here. But we go. you're on. What do you want? Wait, a Droid? No, I'm on an, on an iPhone. See that? Uh, see that? That doesn't come icon? up for me. Oh, that's all right. Well, then you're fucked. There you go. Thanks. Oh, that one. There went all the sympathy. Well, you're screwed. Turns out you should get uh, one of those phones that I have. What do you have? I don't know. It's How much longer? <laughs> We've been going 13 minutes. Oh, my We've God. We've been going 13 seconds. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything he, to say. Well, here's the good news about that, that video thing. Okay. Is that I was able to listen to my sets uh, from San Francisco with Maria, and uh, I've had Wait, trans- Maria listened too? No. Okay, good. My set's with Maria. While you're oh, 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 well, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like... I thought you guys were driving together, oh and the two God. of you listened to your act. <laughs> that would wow. be... A, that the would worst cure friendship people ever. people from av- ever trying to drive with you again <laughs> is playing <laughs> your set. Like, if you're doing one-nighters, uh, let's, you're, oh, you we're gonna drive alone before. if we're going to listen to last night's set. Yeah. Here, and give the person a notebook and say... Get, take notes. Yeah, I'm gonna need time ah, code. I'm gonna, if you could log the time code, that'd that be great. That would be awesome. Would I want to so... go on the road again now. I'm gonna do <laughs> one nighters and torture somebody. Let's torture some make, poor bastard. Think that's, that's what you always have to do when you travel <laughs> with the headliner. Create some sort of thing. Yeah, no, but I I was able to transcribe the first uh, the genocide bit. That's what I'm calling it. The oh, cool. Genocide bit. And yeah. So, 
I'm going to work on it tonight. I have a set tomorrow night, and then I... And it's before Christmas right now, so I'm going to go up to uh, Andy's mom's up in the uh, Central Valley and uh, stare at them for a couple of days. Where's and then that? Home. They live near Visalia, which is the oh, 99, yeah. 65. Yeah. It's literally, you pass I, 13 billboards telling you that abortion is horrible, yeah. and then five billboards that say that, what, what, you don't like food? We need your water for food. Oh, yeah. That's all, that's all you see are billboards of yeah, those two things. Like, a lot of angry farmers in the Central Valley. A lot of angry. Is, are, is there an a open mic or something that you could hop on? Oh, no. Uh, in ex- Exeter? Or uh, Visalia or I'm Lindsay? From Visalia, because there's a, I just when I was on tour did like four days in that area. Oh, there's something up in Visalia there's that I could pick up a set. Yeah, we'll talk. Oh, maybe I'll talk. Maybe yeah. I'll uh, maybe I'll drive because Andy usually drives, and uh, so maybe I'll drive. Except for that, <laughs> guess what? My in-laws won't like. Hey, I'm gonna go pick up a set. <laughs> I'll be back Christmas Eve. And as it you is, I what? had to cancel a Friday set at the Improv. I was you're, gonna do a benefit. You're a comedian. Okay. Right. Remember Elizabeth? She she uh, became a queen. Oh, it's, that's right. You are a, a part of the yeah, crown now. Yes. You are a Andy comedian. Andy Ashcraft. Prince you got to do your sets. Yes. <laughs> Andy Ashcraft is Prince Philip in this scenario. That's right. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So um, well, yeah, I'm done now. That's all I had. Wow. I I'm, have. <laughs> so I. First of all, I'm sure the show tonight will be fun, mm-hmm. but please never let me take anything that's not pure stand up ever again. It, yeah. I'm totally worried. I'm like, I don't drink. My normal thing is to have a little bit if I drink at all and then go, Ugh, I don't want, like, I don't, I never Oof. deliberately get drunk. Right, right. And I'm, I then I'm going to be you. on my sacred space, the stage <laughs> in this, in this horrible way, what oh I call God. Jackie no, one... in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they asked you because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for like someone, like if it were, if, you know, you ask Kinane. Yes, you know, get Kinane can... and Dan St. Germain up and Marcella. Holy shit. Now you got a show. Well, you and- got. Me? But, but you you have people that are just like no no I uh, I'm really good at being drunk you're you're not going to be good at being drunk so that's what they're looking forward to they're looking forward to the Why shit would show that whatever it's look forward be. to seeing somebody drunk I don't get it yeah you don't you get know it. I see people <laughs> drunk because I'm on stage and I see all of you fucking audience members drunk and I hate you mm-hmm. you're about to interrupt me you can't pay attention mm-hmm. Why would somebody pay to see me so wh- in that situation and you're not doing your act you right. have to actually do some sort of rebuttal I'm working yeah. I got fucking rape jokes to work out. Right. I have a new chunk I'm working on. Oh, you got a new about, rape chunk? Well, it's all these. I had these Against? different. No, oh, thank <laughs> God. Pro. <laughs> um, different kind, thematically uh, working on uh, an idea about how I want to raise my son. Right. Okay. So the, and the, the baseline is I don't want him. Mostly if he's not a rapist, I feel like I've done a good a job. Bit of a win. Bit of a win. Not a rapist. <laughs> not a murderer. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, so then I had these jokes. You're like, that were, well, I want you to be a dentist, but you know, <laughs> anything shy of. Um, so I had jokes that were sort of not connected. And then I, I, I think I think I, I found a way to link them. So it's, it's a chunk. Right. But, you know, it's, um, who knows? Yeah. It's, it's fine. It, 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 it like, it kind of, it's a little dirty and it has, it talks about, so I'm like, it's definitely not a television chunk. Right. So part of me is like, why are you even working on it? Right. You know, what's the point? But then, you know. Because well, comedy's fun. And yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you can, not everything is going to, it, not it everything's should be for, for a, yeah. you know, a five minute spot. Right, right. I picked up, I think in January or February, I forget what it is. I'm working with Brian Regan again. Oh, cool. And in Idaho. And so it'll be neat. It's always neat, but I always want, like, I want to work on some new stuff, but I don't want it to, you know, you want to set somebody up. And, and yeah. so you want well, you, you want need to, be, to set him up, right? Right, right. right? Well, that's the job, yeah. right? I'm opening, for, yeah, 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 for Brian, or I'm opening for Maria, or you're opening for like uh, at Tracy Ashley was opening for Tracy Morgan, yeah. And you're you're when you open for someone like that big in that big venue where the, the thousands of people that have come are there to see that other you're person. there to serve the headliner, yes, right, yes, and. And I've always thought that in general anyway. When yeah, I used right, to right. feature, I was never a blow away the headliner yeah, kind of person. Yeah. I was always, oh, they're dirty. I'll be a little dirty. They're clean. I'll be a little cleaner. Right. And so, but, um, yeah. So I, I'm I'm a little nervous because I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what I want to do. Because I want to work. I kind of want to do some of the new stuff. 
uh, with Brian because I like and because I also I don't want him to think I'm not writing. Oh, I know that's the worst. <laughs> Did you think you're like, oh, like, like, yeah? If you're still gonna do the same twenty that you did for me two years ago, and I'm like. Yeah, Meanwhile, he has a new hour and a half. A new hour and a half. That is genius. <laughs> you have, exactly. You have four new minutes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, really? You're still working on that? And I'm like, God <laughs> dang it. But, uh, you know, so but I. Well, but, so the, so, so the, what takes precedent? You the know? new stuff you have is a little too dirty to be in front of Brian Regan. Not all of it. Some of it's fine. Yeah. Like that uh, that burden joke I do is is perfectly good with Andy. Though mm-hmm. it doesn't, it needs another punchline. It's not going to have one for the, Don't, you for know the album. Doesn't every joke need another punchline? Yes, didn't she just absolutely. write the story of our lives right then? <laughs> yes, every punchline, every joke does need another. It could punch always line. use another punchline, except for right after I tape my. Uh, I'd like it before <laughs> I tape the CD, not after. Yeah, I also have a new premise that uh, that I don't want to work on until <laughs> well, January. Then, oh, I see. <laughs> because like, maybe because what if you I get to work on it if you don't want to work on it? Maybe I don't want to work on it because I don't want to get addicted you. to it. Yeah, and then have it as a half-assed. Pre- like just a yeah. premise with a just a half a punchline on the new album, and then oh, I'll, I right. yes, right, right, right. And then how you, irritating is that? Yeah, that's bad. And that's then you actually so bad. You, then, then you kind of then blow you it put up it a little on, bit later. Yeah, and then you put it on the next album, and then you got to deal with a lot of emails. Why did you do that? Why, why did that? Album, why did that joke change? And you're like, because all jokes change. You know what? Why don't you direct them to episode fifty three of this podcast? <laughs> For this. fast forward p- p- past the play talk <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you, is anyone still listening we wonder we wonder uh, how's that i coming? hope not <laughs> I all i want is for our numbers to go low enough for us to be able to stop doing this it doesn't work anymore you guys <laughs> or uh they're just just a giant bag of money like scrooge mcduck somebody what Okay. Right after so, it became like if it became like what do you want out of this do you want it to become so huge this podcast yeah or it I, stops I'm, entirely. I'm searching. I, I just want to get to know Jackie Cation. Once well, I get to know you, I'm out of here. Exactly. You're going to drop me like a hot potato and scream. I just found out about your your history with orgies. <laughs> why, why wasn't that on the first podcast? I, I, why did you hold that one back? Oh, you know, those five that are in the vault. <laughs> Remember the five that we did? Yeah, before. we got we to gotta burn that vault. <laughs> we got to um, burn that vault to the ground. Be, yeah, before we decided what our parameters were, what, right, we, exactly. what we, we just, would say, like what we would name names, yeah, and, what, you know, like, what it's, norms we would. But violate. I think that Marin is is playing a bunch of old ones that he never. Oh really? Yeah, right now I think WTF is is playing old. Is he on vacation or something? He's, how does he do two of these? How how did he and Pardo? How do those guys do two a week? Forever. Well, they don't have full time day jobs like you do, and a child. Pardo does, but he also has a wife. Yeah. And um, because I do two podcasts, you know, I have another podcast. (laughs) That's right. You do 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 two two a week. (laughs) Not to toot my own horn, (laughs) but I'm over here working my ass off. I'm I'm still getting to know you. Do you have another podcast? I have this other podcast I've been working. This week's episode was with Caitlin Gill, and it was about Roald Dahl, the Matilda thing. And then next week is with Nia DeBose. Do you know Nia DeBose from Houston? Mm -mm. I might have mentioned her last Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. Because I haven't recorded the next one. I think the next one I'm recording won't be until it'll be in Minneapolis. The week I'm in Minneapolis, I'm, I'm hoping to record a bunch. I want to hang myself right now. Because of this conversation? Yeah. It's a great story. I if you're giving over. me your podcast schedule, let me, let me TBD. Tell you about the, yeah. It's, uh, there's great comics going to be on the pod. We can, we can pull out early. We, we don't have to crash the plane to the ground, can we? Pull, we can pull out early. Do I have any notes from last episode Wait, that oh, I didn't use? I don't think so. We did two episodes Hold last on. Time. I did some... Let me see. Oh, I'm doing no. <laughs> I was ex- I'm wait. I'm like I thought. Aren't I you going something. to New York? I will be in New York right now. I think right. I'm coming home. I'm doing at midnight uh, a couple days after this. Look at you. Yeah. There you go. No Yay. longer. Uh, no longer could get to be bitter about that. <laughs> Good for you. I I'm a little uh, a little bum that I can't be bitter about it anymore. I do right. like being bitter about the things I haven't done. I'm bitter. I, mean, I haven't been on it for eight months. Yeah. So it it'll come back. Don't worry. Thank you. The well, bitterness will I always have my bitterness at not doing Letterman. <laughs> I always have you'll, that. You'll always to have come for me at night. Exactly. I. Uh, did I did did we talk about I think we did the life of Riley. It's only been 2 days. So like I it, the Crittenden and Charles Nelson Riley uh, yeah, one we man did show. Talk about we that. talked about that. Yeah. We we Yep. Oh, I remember. Okay. So somebody said that they thought that that sh- sh- sound comes oh. from dentures. Oh, right. Very possible. 
why can't they figure out a way to make dentures that people don't have to... They can put a man on the moon. Why right. can't they let people enunciate until they die? Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. You All know, right. like the worst example is Carol Channing, right? Mm-hmm. That that kind of thing. That's. But I don't know that that was... Didn't she always talk like that? I don't know. Maybe she's had dentures for a long time. You know, <laughs> here's the thing. Teeth aren't meant to last... A long time. hundred years? Yeah. yeah. I mean, th- they most of most of the time they fall out before you fall down permanently. Right. Into right. the ground. But not usually in your 30s, unless you're doing some meth. No, right. But, right. But uh, I don't know. I just... You got all your teeth? I do have all my teeth. My so, dad has great had his till... <laughs> your dad we, we, we... <laughs> Well, our message to young female comics is brush <laughs> Keep your, your teeth. teeth. Keep your teeth, Brush you your teeth. <laughs> Oral hygiene, you guys. Rock star. Uh, my dead mother, or my first dead mother. That's what I like to call her. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, she lost all of her teeth in her 30s, and she didn't do meth because there was no meth. What? How, uh, how, how did that happen? I think it was... Uh, I don't know why she didn't have any teeth. I remember I was like seven when she died, but I remember she had Dude, uh, that dentures. that breaks my heart. I didn't kill her. Does it I, break your heart because she died or because... No, I, I was... just picture little seven-year-old Jackie. Oh. And it breaks my heart. It was a bit of a relief, I'm afraid, when she died. Really? Well, because here's... As my brother Phil likes to describe, it's like, we we tried to be sad, but the next day there was milk and bread in the house. So uh, the fact that there was no yeah. food and then there was food, you're like, well, I miss her. Wow. <laughs> but do I miss her while I'm enjoying this peanut butter sandwich? Right. Yes. And uh, and it was fine. But uh, And then Nancy Cation and the Austrian army came in, and uh, there was uh, French quarters on the beds. <laughs> so it was all worked out in the end. And uh, All right. I know. And uh, But, the uh, but yes, yeah, so, so it was weird, though, that she didn't, like, she didn't have any teeth, but everyone else has teeth now until they're, until they're old or mm-hmm. dead. Right. Right? Everybody keeps them. Nobody has all their teeth pulled out. Mm-mm. What other? What other? Oh my God! <laughs> oh I'm gonna God. tell you about the bit I'm not gonna work about. How about All right. that? Yes. All right. So feel feel free to not listen to this one, <laughs> you guys. Uh, we should have asked for questions. Kyle, do you have any questions? Uh, do you have any? Do you, you want to know what the '90s were like? Yeah. What were the '90s like? Oh, remember I the don't 90s? know how to answer that. Exactly. Me neither. It's uh. I remember. What do you? What, what would you want to know about the nineties? What was it like being a comic in the nineties when there wasn't like a billion comics? It felt like there were a billion. Yeah, comics it felt like in there the were a billion comics. It always felt like there was a billion. But we uh, didn't know other scenes at all. Like I didn't know. I didn't know you. Be, no, there used to be this. Um, San Francisco had a uh, a little newspaper called Just for Laughs that John Fox, not the comedian, the Booker, right, published. And and that is only a sentence that is said on the West Coast, by the way. <laughs> and it's said every time the name John Fox comes up, just so everyone knows. J O H N is the comic. <laughs> J O N is the Booker. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I missed out on the spelling. Okay. Yes. So, and he would have interviews with comics on other coasts and other cities. You know, sometimes he'd, he'd like quote a joke from another comic. Oh, okay. In uh, Just for Laughs, you could, you could see these other people that were working. I remember like uh, being like, who's Leanne Lord? She was like, this, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I, I didn't meet her till 10 years later. But right, right. She's still working. Leanne yeah, Lord. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I think. Maybe her management company had an ad or something, but she was part or her college agency had an ad and she was one of the comics. But, yeah. Um, but we didn't know the other people. And like when I moved to New York, I didn't know. The only people I knew were San Francisco comics that had already landed and, you know, established residency. Right. When I, moved I didn't here, know anybody. Yeah. And I moved here in like, I think, 97 or 96. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I don't like to move. So I've lived here ever since. And so uh, <laughs> but I didn't know who Greg Proops was. And I knew who Dana was, but Proops never worked through Minneapolis. Mm. And I didn't even see his headshot. Like, I knew he had that TV show, but it was improv. And I was yeah, like, I yeah. don't want any part of that. Yeah, yeah. Because I was a giant snob. <laughs> you mean because you were right? <laughs> you know that show, What line, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Is that what it's called? It's a, You know, they used to record for like three hours, and then they cut it down to 42. Oh, wow. You know about that? That's the craziest. That's I mean, it makes if, sense. If every improv show was like that. <laughs> right. And we didn't have to sit yeah, through it. We, yes. You just show us the edited version of what you just did. <laughs> yes. Please. And I will sit in the audience. Yes. And, uh, and then why don't you keep those jokes? Because uh, clearly they worked. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Oh my god! But so, I saw okay. Proops for the first time when right. I moved here, and he it was I literally just followed followed him around for like a he's two weeks. He's amazing. He's amazing. So smart and so and has uh you know I always struggle for words. Like it's easier when I'm writing, when I'm speaking. There's like you know there's a second where I'm trying to find a word. Yeah, he's got everything. It's like his mouth is full of words and Yeah, the word you're looking for is erudite. The guy is fucking amazing. The guy I don't like you and I <laughs> never have. I don't want to be friends. Gone. <laughs> so but it's uh no, but yeah, he's the guy's a he's just a mate. He's just yeah, so good. So funny. So good. And and I'm one of the first bits I ever it was something about his uh how his cousin got to ride in a helicopter and he had never gotten to ride in a helicopter and yeah. his cousin was from like Alabama or Yeah, he's or, from Mississippi. Mississippi. He's yeah, from like some crazy tiny town in the middle of the like pre Civil I mean, War South. The way he was, <laughs> how he should have turned out to what he did turn out is so. It's it's, it's just proof that it, that nature anything over is nurture, possible. Anything is possible. You guys can get out. <laughs> it can happen. And uh, yeah. So you met him. I met him when I moved here. Mm. I saw, you know, like Minneapolis had great comics, but it was weird because. When when I started doing stand when I moved there in ninety, mm-hmm. the comedy scene in Minneapolis was owned by a guy named Scott Hansen. I remember that guy. And Scott Hansen, at the height of his his Dealy Bob, yeah. like ninety two maybe ninety one, he had five comedy clubs in Minneapolis. And he, just in Minneapolis, just in Minneapolis, oh. and it was uh, guess what? Too many. Yeah. And it was the supposed he was he was an example of the boom and and having people headline who couldn't headline. Yeah, yeah. And it was just and he was also a control freak. He was the kind of uh comedy club owner who would pit comics against each other. Oh. Just to make them cry. Sweat. Yeah. And I literally there were guys who he'd be like, "Well, I don't know who I'm going to put up." And then he would he would all the guys who were who were at the MC level. I was never at the MC level because he didn't really like women. Uh, there were only like three of us, right? <laughs> but uh, and so you would have thought freak show vote, right? Right, right, right. But we didn't even get that. No, and it was. Um, that's not true. There was probably half a dozen. It's a uh, Dillery. I'm trying to think. And Maria. Uh-huh. Um, but Maria was working. She was she wasn't doing the clubs. Yeah, because she, the stuff she was doing it was more. There's a. a a thing called Balls, and it was yeah. from midnight to two on Saturday night in a theater, and it was a variety show. Oh my god! And she would just show up and at Balls, at Balls, what? run by Leslie Ball. <laughs> Leslie Ball, by the way, uh, dated both Elvis Costello and Billy Bragg. Oh my god! Yeah, so Leslie Ball, kind of amazing, mm-hmm. and has been in a committed, beautiful relationship with a young man named Ocean. Low these twenty years. Why have I never heard of this hero of Leslie Ball? She is a hero. She's a damn hero. What didn't um. Did Scott Hansen, was his wife a comic? No, his wife was, uh, they were like literally a fairy tale. She was super skinny and he was super fat. Yeah. And uh, she was a nurse. I thought somebody she had in health that, problems. Oh, in that little group. Did he have a brother? Why Tom do I, Hansen. Tom Holly Hansen. Hansen? Is there a Holly, Holly Hansen? Holly Hansen was married to Tom Hansen. Oh, they weren't. Oh, the, okay. Yeah, and she was a comic. Name? Yeah, Holly was a different uh, last name. But she married Tom Hansen and Tom, and she passed away probably six years ago of cancer and uh tried to fix it with dmso don't recommend that what's that uh it's a some snake oil thing anyway uh but um didn't work and she's a very nice woman and uh but the but t- tom booked all of their road stuff he was kind of like yoder yeah yeah and then scott had all the in clubs okay. in town clubs and one of my favorite stories was seinfeld in the early, it was, I don't know what year sign the TV show started, yeah. but it was the first season and he was still working the road doing uh, stand up, And so he was in town. And the thing about Scott, Scott probably weighed 450, 500 at the time. And he you owned five know. clubs. And if you hung out with Scott, he ate every 20 minutes and he would always buy lunch. He would always <laughs> buy food. So oh comics God. don't have any money, right? So, but if you were willing to hang out and get mocked yeah. openly by Scott Hansen, who is still alive, hi Scott, uh, you could. Is he still weigh that much and he's still alive? I think so. Yeah. Like his wife got super sick and she's very thin, but works out like crazy. It didn't make any sense. But um, he shows up. So uh, Seinfeld's at the Guthrie or the Warner, whatever, right? The theater. Mm-hmm. And after the show, it's a bunch of young comics and Scott and Seinfeld in the green room. And picture Seinfeld. He's sitting there sewing a button back on one of his shirts like Seinfeld. Yeah. It's like an episode of Seinfeld. Yeah. And Scott is trying to convince him to come to one of the clubs and do a set. 
He's like, come on, you know, drop in. Famous people drop in fancy stuff, right? Everybody wants that yeah. if you're a club owner. And Seinfeld's, no, no, I've already done a set. I'm good. I don't want to go to another set. And so Scott's trying to talk him into it, and he's not. And finally, Scott says, well, you want to go get something to eat? And Seinfeld, without breaking stride with his with his thread and needle, goes, Scott, you've eaten. <laughs> And it was one of, and it was, it was so mean, but it was so funny because Scott was so mean and all, like there were four or five comics in the green room. But nobody was mean to him because they were afraid of him. Right. Everyone was afraid of him, but everybody just sort of like picked up newspapers and just hid behind him so they could laugh. And, and Scott was, I mean, in some ways, because all club owners are supportive to the stand-up comedy community just by having comedy yeah. clubs. Yeah, yeah. So you're like, well, he was all right. You know, he was an okay guy. And then in other ways, he but he was bored. Yeah. And he was one of the power guys, right? Yeah. So he'd like he'd like set guys against each other. I don't know who to book and and he'd make them like it was just gross. Like the you see the scar on my finger? Yeah. Yeah. I uh uh he's that, did another comedian do that to you? No, I did that to myself. Whenever I look at the scar on my finger, mm-hmm. I always remember, oh yeah, getting mad always helps. Because <laughs> it was my first ever audition. It was for MTV. Yeah. And have I told you? I might have told you this story. I don't know. I think I've heard the Seinfeld story, but I don't know if I've heard it on our podcast. Or like, it or might be on told me the another first time. Fun. Yeah. 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 I, we have, but it's fine. It's a good story. It's a good story. It's worth it. Yeah. Well, Kyle's even heard it. I, I literally. <laughs> Why is this podcast happening today? <laughs> where we have nothing to say and we're repeating nothing new. stories. Nothing new, you guys. I got four stories from the 90s. No problem. Did I did I uh, ever tell you about uh, Aubrey Pippin, the guy that used to own, own the Comedy House theaters? In, no, uh, where uh, it was like this chain, a chain that was like the a B version of the Comedy Zone oh, in the Jesus. South. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to regroup. Okay. O- o- Ocala, Florida. That was her Florida flagship was the 29th largest city, Ocala, right? Uh, Savannah, which was I- I- in a gorgeous city, but, yep. you know, um, Augusta, wow. which is, again, not Atlanta. and <laughs> It continues to not be Atlanta, guys. Yeah. Columbus, which Ohio? is. No, uh, South Carolina as well. Oh, weird. Yeah. Um, so four four clubs in the deep south in in not major cities. Yeah. So I wow. I would do those like four at a time. Um, he, four he, weeks in a row. Yeah. 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 And because uh, I had to fly out, rent a car, yeah. I'd fly to Atlanta, rent a car. Uh huh. Um, I I mean I barely. What about dark nights? Did you break even? I would sometimes I would stay over. That was that one time. Remember I told you about that. That I stayed at a comics house and he accidentally showed me a porno instead oh, of a yeah, yeah. videotape of it. Yes. <laughs> okay. That was that was that was a couple dark nights right there. <laughs> you gotta fill in so those many dark ways. In. <laughs> in so many ways, so dark. Um, and uh, then there used to be this room in Houston. Uh, two of them called Spellbinders. Yeah. Was it two rooms? I never, I never did Houston. But she she would book them two at a time. Her name was Lynn, mm-hmm. and she was really hard to get a hold of. Like you had fax her <laughs> constantly. You know, send right, avails, faxing. sending the faxing. faxing avails, and just trying that cheery. Hey, Lynn. How's it going? Oh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be in the area. Actually, I'll fly myself out there if you book me. Right. But you, you pretend casually that you're going to be doing other in work area. in the area yeah. of Houston, right? Which doesn't <laughs> or exist. Or Texas or the South. You know right. that includes the area. Um, and then hope that they 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 put you add in. you to the to the lineup. Yeah. Yeah. So the guy owned the four clubs. Where where did he live in Oscar Tal? What in he Florida? Lived- I think he lived in Savannah, Aubrey Pippen. Yeah. Okay. And he, I've heard he booked him. almost exclusively by comment cards. That's how he would book. So, <laughs> and, you know, they would leave a comment card and it was, it was like, it, it they set it up so the audience could t- tank as many careers as possible. <laughs> what did you think of the MC? One, uh, two, three, four, five, like a scale of one to <sighs> 10. Why? Same with the features. Like, he, they're giving the audience the, uh, the, the power. ability to ruin you. Right. So I remember doing that, uh, sitting with, we had the, um, we had the buckets. Yeah. M- myself and Mo Alexander, who's a comic from, <laughs> yeah. who, I forget what city he lives in. He's in the I south. just ran into Kevin Avery in this very comic book. Oh, really? Story. Yeah. Anyway, but, um, 
So what what were the, what, bu- wait, the buckets wait. where you put the comic books? Yeah, they, yeah, the audience would leave oh, yeah. them, and then we just started reading them and taking out the ones that would <laughs> Oh, yeah, prevent, if you could get to the common us. cards. Yeah, if you got to get to those. Back in the day, get to the common cards before so the So the club owner couldn't read them. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you could just shave Your off. Your livelihood depended on it. It so did. And uh, so were you headlining these? The featuring. Weird, featuring. You featuring. I could not break into headlining no matter what. I just kept featuring everywhere. That's when I... At some point, I was like, I can't, I can't move up. No one's moving me up. Like the clubs that are moving me up are the ones that pay you the same as the as the other clubs pay features, you know. And I, like, I could whatever. Like Kathleen Madigan, we both started at the same time. She she moved up so quickly, Mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, why, why? I think it was her management. I mean, she's just really good, um, yeah, um, business wise. Yes, like she's a great comic. Yes, everyone knows Kathleen Madigan is an amazing comic. But it was like they didn't. They're like, oh, she had another level, Kathleen. So we don't need anyone else. (laughs) That's what what's his face said, right? Yeah, that's what that guy said in Royal Oak. He said we already have Kathleen Madigan out loud to my face. Hole. Uh, I was like, what the fuck? He said, you remind at the me comedy of Comedy Castle? Yeah, at the Comedy Castle. He said, you remind me of Kathleen Madigan. He probably doesn't remember saying it, but uh, so we're not going to have you back. He headlined me once, probably 12 years ago. What a And I was dick, like, Mark. it was really successful, Ridley. Yes. It was like, it was so successful. The week was great. The staff liked me. Everybody liked me. He said, yeah, you remind me a lot. And he books, he's the guy that books everything in September. Oh, and by the I way, 12 years guys. later, I'm still sending him avails every sun, every <laughs> September. Hey, Mark, how you doing? I'm going <laughs> to be in the area. I'm going to be in the area. <laughs> I'm still not willing to work for $700 to headline. God and, damn. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just couldn't move up. It was driving me nuts. And yeah. then um, and then I went to Montreal, mm-hmm. and I thought that would be it. That, that every, should've, here's the thing. Like, I hope my special loose. does well, but... I never think and now I know nothing ever seems like it's going to be the thing that takes you on a rocket ride. You no, know? nothing takes you on a rocket ride. A few people sometimes get on, it'll, a few it'll, people get on rocket rides. Yes, but it's but it usually it takes it took like a year and a half to two years for my half hour special on Comedy Central to turn into headliner work. Two years after I did my half hour special, I thought it was going to get me to headline. Mm-hmm. Right? I was going to be like, well, everyone's going to want to headline someone who had a half hour special on Comedy Central. Well, at the time they did. When they were first coming out, yeah, but they didn't. Not for me. I mean, the thing is, is, is it's you know not, what we, it, we look pick- at the, we look at how the guys are treated, and we think we're going to be treated the same way, right? It's constantly you think, oh, if I'm twice as good as the guys that they're booking, it'll yeah, be. it's well, Hillary the- Clinton syndrome. <laughs> you know, you yeah. think if you think if you're overqualified, that'll get you the not work. even over, not even yeah, but I mean, how many how many guys also got half hours the same time you got a half hour and did get a legitimate bump up on the road? And totally started making more money on the road. I bet so you're, it's natural. Yeah. You think of yourself as of a comic, just like them, and you forget. Oh, the world doesn't do that. They right. still separate us and yeah. segregate us and all that. Which is so. When did you start headlining? Just now. Just a few, <laughs> like two two months ago. <laughs> Last night. First gig, you guys. I'm doing the Skyline in Appleton. More anyway. Oh, I did that room. It's a great room. I, the the condo they put you up in or the house has a has a plastic runner. I won't do it. Nope. Anyway, um... <laughs> me neither. <laughs> I'm with you, hundred <laughs> percent. Find a hotel. You can do it. You got season tickets to the Packers, buddy. Uh, you got money. You can do it. But um, maybe after I moved to New York mm-hmm. and uh, after I started writing on Tough Crowd and that'll then help appearing a little bit on Tough Crowd. Yeah. Then I got more headlining work. Yeah. But you know, it was still it was which still, is crazy. I, was, I never had that was that that march up a ladder or or a set of stairs that you think you're going to get like five steps here. Now you land at feature for a couple of years, and then boom, 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 and now you're at the headliner landing. Yep. It never worked like that for me. I wonder if it worked. That I mean, I've saw I've seen it work for guys. Some people like that, but I, I see it work for a lot of guys. Yeah, I I can't remember. I'm sure there's guys that are still. Going, I can't break into headlines. Of course, there are. Know. Yeah, there. Uh, that might be just because there's so many comics right now. Yeah, there's a lot of comics. But We're but like age. I I I went to um, before you know I got Conan and stuff. I was floating around in L.A. and I went to meet with um, the improv people at Levity. Nothing happened. You right. know, I mean, it's like there's some people they it's they show up and it seems like they're just given 14 weeks of work, <laughs> right? And then you're. You're like, all of a sudden, you get to work all of the improv. Yeah. And as much as I love Ian Bag, because the guy's amazing. He's a great comic. Yes. But so am I. Yeah. Yeah. I I could do Ian Bag's schedule, and it would be fine. 
And then or that's, were, that's the other what things, I wanted 10 the, years ago is I wanted yes. to be a bag schedule. Then the other clubs want you because you're in that thing. It's right. It's so frustrating to just be outside that loop of success and um, being anointed and, and just right. go, well, wh- why? Can you, <laughs> How do I get anointed? Can I get, like, I just want to push the this person over and put my head right where they are <laughs> so that I can get their oh, like, magic what, goo. Right, right, what, you know those uh, things where you can stick your head and get your picture taken? Yeah. In an astronaut costume? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be oh, great. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That'll be perfect. Mm-hmm. Is that how you work? Is that how we get work, John Fox? What? No. And which John Fox am I talking about? We'll never know. And uh, so he books uh, the Underground, which is a room in Seattle. I did I the love. Crow's Nest. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah, which he also right. books. <laughs> Crow's Nest. Yeah, yeah. That's a Santa Cruz, <laughs> yep, I believe. I've worked at Crow's Nest a lot. Sure. Um, they, uh, I think I had a sandwich. Free sandwich, you guys. Also, money, free sandwich. Nobody's holding back is what I'm saying at the crow's nest. <laughs> it's all, they're treating me right. Then I... <laughs> then what happened? <laughs> hey, are we at uh, 30? You are at 45. Oh, Whoa. we got a new comic of the week. Yes. Chase. Chase Bernstein. Bernstein, like the bear. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Sterry, you talk about the her. Thing, the great thing is, as I'm sure she's never heard that before. <laughs> and, well, and it's Berenstein. The oh. bears are Berenstein. <laughs> well, here's the great thing. Jackie, always writing. No, I got nothing. I got <laughs> Very, very funny. It is Berenstein, but She's... that's because you have a child. Yeah. And Berenstein bears, and they've been around and forever. And a mind. And <laughs> a bit of brain. Right. It's true. You're correct. I, I dropped the ball there. I don't know. I'll the never forgive Berenstein. you for shaming me with the word erudite. So. <laughs> well, I'll you said you, you couldn't remember. You couldn't remember words. And I was like, oh, there's a word for that. <laughs> but it's not erudite. <laughs> no, I know the word that he has that you do not have. That's where that um, was the circle. It's a anyway, great story. I'm telling it again. Go. Chase is very funny. And I, I've like just seen her a couple times, but I, every time I do, I'm like, the first time I'm like, who the fuck is this? How come I don't know who this person is? <laughs> I love that. I love it too. I love that. Yeah. And, and especially when it's just some woman that you've never heard of. And yeah. You're like, what the fuck? Usually it's a Canadian. Often it is a Canadian it's lady. Some, some headliner that snuck in here. But Chase is, uh, she's one of us. She's an American, guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank Phew. God. <laughs> there we um, go. But she's really funny. Oh, uh, good. Check her out. Do you know what her handle is? Did you ever? At Chase underscore Chase. At Chase underscore Chase. Chase Chase. Chase. With an underscore. Good for her. That's (laughs) see, that's good writing too. I like that. I like her handle. That was Sometimes a, that, that was, was simple probably the, the worst people, compliment anyone's ever given. <laughs> well, me fucking up her last name can't have, can't have helped. Uh, it's still like the Bears, you guys, but it's not. It's uh, uh, the Chicago Bears. It's a football team. We do. We um, have. The, for, here's do we have another fifteen? Do we minutes? have fifteen minutes in us. Uh, I don't know. So what about the late nineties? <laughs> it's wait. So what? You never did tell me about. So when you'd go to Savannah, you yeah. know, you know when you'd go to you'd do a run right. like that. And, oh, are you willing to tell people what you got to feature for that guy, the Savannah, Florida? 500. It was 500? 450 to 500. Does everyone no know air, that? No, no air. No air. Nothing. So right. it's for four weeks, it's $2,000. Right. You got to fly to Atlanta. And then rent you a rent car. a car from the Atlanta airport, which is way more expensive than, than renting Anywhere. from outside the airport. You know, mm-hmm. just... E- e- even if you just rent from the city of Atlanta, but then you have to take a cab to the airport. So you might as well fucking rent it from the airport. Right. Right. Yeah. So, uh, and I didn't have anything to sell afterwards. No merch. Uh, so you're making four, it's four to $500 uh, a week. Yeah. And the week is what? Wednesday. Tuesday, to- I think it's a Tuesday, Sunday, Tuesday, Tuesday Sunday. Sunday, probably still pays that. Here's yeah. the good news. Well, I think they're all Comics. shut down. They're closed. They're done. But that's uh, that is still like oh, feature money. Feature is the money same. is almost exactly the same as it's yeah. always been. And so you you can't even be on the road as a feature. It's almost impossible. You have to. It, it, they use local feature. I, I, yeah, I mean, I think we've talked about this before. And JL Calvin I th- wrote a really good piece about this on uh, Facebook a while ago about how there's no the the way to get better that. It used to be that you just went on the road and you and you were booked to do more time that you knew than you knew how to do. Right. So you if you have seven 15, shows a week, they tell you do thirty and you figure it out. Right. Yep. And it's you the only way to learn how to do it. Quite job. honestly, yeah. Right. And so now, like younger comics aren't getting that opportunity, and and because they can't afford it. Yeah. And yeah. and you know. Uh, Whenever you work uh, in Minneapolis, he uses local guys. Like, yep. there's so many different small comedy scenes that th- why would they bring in a feature when they've got 15 features that are right. really good 
that they can they can that get they away also... with paying four hundred dollars to. Right, I think Lewis pays five or six. Yeah, but um, it's it's still. Yeah, there's. I mean, it's almost impossible to come. I mean, that's why I always I'm shocked at people who start here in Los Angeles or yeah. New York. How do you get that? How do you how do you jump? How do you? Yeah. I mean, you create Kyle. You created your own run, and that's what I think a lot of the the young comics are doing now, which is God, awesome. So much work. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. I yes, it is. It's not fair. Right. And but whenever I hear about those runs, I'm always I. There's always a part of it that's like, I wonder if I want to do that. Like, oh, I never. <laughs> All of me does uh, wants to do that. Well, except for that, it's so much. Like I did do like it. Uh, not create a run. Do no, just do whatever Kyle's are. <laughs> Kyle, no, you Kyle does all the work, run. and then I jump in and tell jokes. Yeah, right. that's what I. That's what I'm talking about. Right. Like whenever I hear about a Domian or Sean Patton, yeah, getting building some run down in the south. I did one of them once, and it yeah. was so much work. Yeah, but it was really fun in the yeah. end, and I did not make any money. <laughs> and uh, and that was of course that was of course a disappointment. So, but, did you do door deals? Uh, no, no. I think uh, maybe I don't know. I don't remember. All I what remember about- is that I, I think I broke even, and I felt proud of that. What right. about that thing where Paul F. Tompkins used to? Did he say if you if three hundred people say they'll come see me, he'll come to a town? Oh, right? I remember that. And did then that Tig- work? I don't think it did. Oh. I don't actually think it did. And then Tig Nataro. Uh, she was doing that thing where it was in living rooms, and then she'd stay over at people's houses. I, don't and I was like, want I don't want do any that. part of that. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't, I don't want like to stay being with my in, brother in a lift away from my house <laughs> with somebody else. <laughs> and uh, so, lift pool. Where are you going next? You got to go to Sirius, right? Uh, going to Sirius to do an interview. I can give you a ride there. Oh, cool! That's an exciting. Unless I've gotten a ticket. Hopefully not. I'll pay your ticket. Oh, that'd be the same as my lift. I don't think so. Not in Los. Aren't all Los Angeles tickets seventy five dollars? I don't know. I don't, did you get a ticket from the play? No, I didn't. Hey, score! Yeah, there we go. Another. Let's talk more about the play. Let's never talk <laughs> about the play again. It's. Uh, um. So, I, I like for the future for me. I. I, I mean. I've just been doing going to New York on my hiatus weeks. So yep. I'm sure I'll continue that. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you I bring in the boy with you. Not is, not during the school year. Oh Sometimes right, there's 19 days you have off. Oh, this thing. Oh, it's all split up. I'm doing um, four nights in Oregon with my sister. She's doing okay. three nights. We're doing Christmas. Then I take my. You son. You leaving your mom here? She's just coming. you and your sister. No, having Christmas. My mom's, my mom's coming. <laughs> That's really for the best <laughs> because she's part of your family. Yeah, and then then I do. Oh, I do leave her up there. Mm-hmm. Then I bring my son back here. Give give him to his dad then i mm-hmm. go to new york for a week where i'm doing some pot i'm doing a little promotional stuff and spots and stuff like that right and then uh, i come back here uh on the second if anybody has a podcast in new york that they want you to do do you want that you want to well, this will that? have aired after i return oh so. that's right thank you i, I and, should have said it last episode <laughs> doing at midnight and then i have like four days to myself in my house where oh, nice. my son isn't there and my mom isn't there and i'm right. just you're just gonna alone. It's going to be beautifully alone in your own home. That will be I, nice. I'm going to live how some of you people live <laughs> all the time, all childless the time. and parentless. <laughs> exactly. That's going to be great. It will. I be. think this is this is comes out what the fourth or something, because I'll be in Madison doing um, the comedy on state. Oh, that and, week. Yeah, that week. This oh, week, cool. This very week. Oh, cool. And that'll be fun because I think it's a Wednesday through Saturday. I'm yeah. going to. Fly into Milwaukee on the Tuesday and then just stay with my brother for two nights and stare at my dad for a couple of days and then drive up to Madison and stay. This up is there. coming out on the first. Second. The second? It'll come? Uh, yeah. On the yeah. Second. That makes sense. I was going to let her have it, Lori. You were gonna, oh, you're gonna let me go with it. The fourth is when I think the Madison <laughs> run starts. That's when the Madison run. Should have learned from you. Just, <laughs> just let Jackie have it. Just let her be wrong. It'll be fine. Let Everyone will be. It. It's it, nobody cares. <laughs> if anyone's still listening to this, I hope you're listening to it at one point five. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on speed up. And, uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I don't know. So I, I got. I'm looking forward to that week in Madison just because I get to do whatever the fuck I want on stage. Cause yeah, the, you'll the be, done. Will be done. We're I, we're both gonna be done with our big things by this yeah, time. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Nice. And uh, and uh, I got. And the, then what's next? What is next? I would like. 
I don't know, the standard uh, rich and famous contract from the Muppet movie <laughs> would be amazing for me. That would be – actually, I don't know that – would, would you I, even want to be famous? What a pain no. in the ass. From, the, from what I've seen up close of the famous people I know, yeah. it, no. They can't – they're trapped. They can't go out without being talked to. Right. No. Steve Carell goes to my coffee shop and people are always like, look at Steve. No, that's awful. Leave Steve Carell And you should alone. stop doing that. Yeah, I really will. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to stop doing that from now on. <laughs> and, uh, but I would love to be able to go out and do Saturday nights someplace. Oh, just you know? sort of strong I wish, arm I your wish way there on. was... I mean, I, I'm not an, a name where I can just take over a Saturday and mm. take someone's week, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> Is that something to aspire to? Yes. Yeah, you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it. Take your week. <laughs> no, but it, it would be cool if there were more single night venues that were weekend stuff that that comics would just fly in and do right maria does that i know i'm not maria well that's it the thing is is i think that you could be maria because i think that that you are especially the CISO thing it's gonna it's really gonna bring you to the next level i don't know of dying people coming to see me (laughs) right the people who want sobbing (laughs) sobbing gen xers who miss their parents exactly we'll all just cry together we'll cry together and uh but i think that it yeah i mean we like I know that the Women in Comedy Festival, they want you to come, but I think it's a but you have to they wanted work. us to come, right? And I can't because yeah. I think I'm doing the nerd cruise that week or something. I don't. I have something going on. Yeah, something going on, mm-hmm. man. We'll I got work. Time. They'll be. We are doing a live episode in February, aren't we? Yes, February twenty. Yeah, it's the first. Hey, it's ever. never too early to promote that when we have nothing else to talk about. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think we're real close here, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are we at an hour? Fifty-five minutes. Oh, 55. <laughs> That's not bad. Like, no, don't hit your head. Crawling by. <laughs> That's not bad, though. We actually, because remember at 14 minutes? Remember 40 minutes ago? <laughs> <laughs> I got nostalgic for that. <laughs> um, yeah. I, uh, you know who I did a Joe Coy's podcast? Do you know him? No. He's super Probably. fun. Yeah? Yeah. He, what is he, it? Adam Carolla has this empire in Glendale. It's right. like a, a warehouse they converted, and it's a bunch of his podcasts plus Joe Coy's. And, okay. Um, How do you spell Joe's last name? J-O and then K-O-Y. K-O-Y. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I've never worked with him, but he's like a – he works all over the place. Right. And he asked you to come on because of 45 yeah. jokes? Oh, yeah. that's great. Or the, yeah, you're getting to do a bunch of the publicist I hired. Oh, that's right. You you're, hired you know how, actual you know how that went down. How did Here's that go how down? I would would have loved it to have gone down. Is a couple people uh, sent me suggestions that say, "Hey, here's mine. Here's mine." And then what I was going to do is talk to each single person and then evaluate, you know, yeah, what was the best for me, what was the least costly, etc. Whether yeah. it was worth it. And then what happened was one of the people. Uh, CC'd the, their their publicist on this uh, and said, hey, here's oh. here's her and here's you. And I was like, oh, OK. I guess we're doing this later. <laughs> She's great. But oh, I, but I I uh, I'm I wish I was the kind of person that was, you know, let me interview. Let me make sure I made the right decision instead of, mm-hmm. oh, you picked me. OK, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy be with what she's done. Oh, good. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, it sounds like she got she you did a bunch nothing of stuff. besides the vulture thing. Yeah. Uh, Money You're well in Paste, spent. Paste magazine today. Did yeah, you see yeah, that with yeah, the trailer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was yeah. really great too. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. So good. Yeah. And, um that's awesome. But that's why I have trouble hiring contractors. Oh my I god! Just, <laughs> well, that's <laughs> like, what the you know that's the new the new bit that I'm working the first on. One. Oh really? Yeah, because I hate salespeople. Yeah, and which you must yeah, but you're a hard fathers. ass like that. You're good at that stuff, right? Well, Andy likes to just listen and listen and listen. Oh, and then uh, we actually had a moment where I had to leave, and then I came back because I felt bad. I texted him. I was like, "Do you need me to come back?" Oh, is this your water heater? Yeah. Well, it was the it was the freaking yeah. It was the heater air conditioning lady. Yeah, who was there for four hours, and then. It, then they came back. You have to reward them with a two thousand dollar contract. If well, exactly. Well, it's uh, that's now I feel obligated. I got to buy the 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 freaking and we we're, we're getting new windows. We're getting um, which will be good because they're they're energy efficient. I think we get a tax write off or something like that. I don't cool. know. It's a fascinating story about uh, flooring Look. and windows. I think we're at it. Yeah, I think we but, have but, nothing left. But but the joke that I'm working on is how salespeople are like nails on a, a chalkboard to me. Yeah, the premise. And how disappointed my father is. 
in me because every time I talk to him about how much I don't like salespeople, he gets sad. And he's like, oh, I love it so much. It's so sad to me that you don't like sales. You don't like the story. You don't like the the journey of the, the making the sale and watching the warm up and the warm down. And the I was like, no, no I hate all of that. And uh, all, all I hear right now is you flaunting your alive father in front of me. <laughs> oh, please <laughs> have in, have in on my father. Let's who, end uh, this. Who talked? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'm I'm done. Bye. <laughs> Now leaving Nerdist.com.